Scotty, we're back at the track. Uh, last year was pretty good, but you've made some changes this year. So what have you done? Uh, yes, uh, I changed the camshaft because the la last year's cam was way too much ring pressure. Didn't realize that. So change the sticks. A little bit bigger lift, but it's more spring friendly. Um, I also added for the first time ever on, on the car is, is the nitrous oxide. So we're going to be running a 250 shot if everything goes smoothly. So we'll be doing that. <laughs> Fix the transmission because the last race of the year last year I didn't realize that the clutches and first gear were done. I didn't realize that. So did that and then we added about 70 pounds of weight to the car. Right, because last year you weren't running a hood and this year no, you are. No, I wasn't running a hood. So this year I'm running a hood. We yeah. added weight in the trunk for the nitrous bottle and the additional fuel tank. Um, right. So yeah, so it's about, about 70 pounds more. And last year you weren't getting proper fuel fuel to all eight cylinders and you fixed Correct. that too right yeah i fixed that problem as well so hopefully today's a good day it, um, <laughs> it should be fun so i'm looking forward to it and we have a big event going on as well so a bit of a test and tune in the process it's just it's gonna be a good day i'm excited oh my. Scotty also put some new Goodyear slicks on the car because last year's were a little bit worn out. Scotty ran out of fuel on the first run, so he upped the fuel pressure a little bit. It's now going to be about 8 psi. He also adjusted the float levels just a little bit to try and fix that problem. Once again, the car fell on its face. A couple of minor carb adjustments were made, but Scotty decided to hook up a single nozzle of his methanol injection, which is not required for this engine to make power. Scotty was running straight 108 octane race gas, which has proved to make the most power on the engine dyno. Nevertheless, it was worth trying. Scotty runs a 9745, which is nearly identical in every way to a run a year ago, despite a bundle of changes, although that day had worse air conditions. And this run was still quite a bit off his personal best of 962, which was ran in much better air conditions. Figuring the methanol made the engine too rich, he shut that system off and went up for another pass.
bad news guys. It's never good to see something go down. I was thinking maybe it would be transmission, but this was looking like engine to me. Shoot. You all right, man? I wonder if it's going to go out to God, the block's okay. Blocking heads. Heads are the most expensive thing. Yeah. This isn't good. That is water, which means the damage goes into the water jackets, which or is other blocker heads and both of them very expensive. Well, this went from bad to worse. Not a good day. It was some struggles with some hesitation off the line. Whether it was too much fuel, not enough, who knows, but uh, we put some methanol to it. It got a full pass in, but it does not need it. This runs on 108 octane. That's what it makes the most power, and that's what's in it. It is not running nitrous. And yet, for some reason, it blew a hole through the bottom end. There's nothing in, no chunks. No chunks. That one's loose. They're a little loose. Like, a, they're not dead, but, but they're, they're loose. That's, That's loose. really That's loose. Kind of loose. There's two of them on the exhaust There's side. Yeah, three and five. How's everything looking there, Chris? This one's fucked. That's fucked. <clears throat> All right. There's the oil. What the hell's that? This right here, right? You're looking at this that's kind of going yeah. across. Like, why yeah. is there's the something shiny there? Shiny something. And then... <clears throat> so that hole is on the passenger side. Not a good sign. This hole is on the driver's side. Not a good sign. First look at the camshaft, and you can see there is a lifter that has turned. And you can see it's cracked up there on the top and turned in there. Not good. Plus, look at all the little chunks in there. Two, three. Yeah. Yep. It's a piston ring. It's a piston ring. That'll do it. Piston broke. I'm surprised the heads are pretty flipping good. Got a little ding here. A little ding there, even Chris. That, even yeah. Even that one cylinder is not much damage, is it? Look at that. I think the piston went down and then came back up. Because it grenaded. Oh, for sure. But man, that is cut like... I mean, I guess it almost looks like a sock. Yeah, it literally it does. Doesn't. Here's the piston, half the rod. It's oh, left, of it. it's man. left of the rod. Ooh, that's where the water came from. Broke through the cylinder bore. Where are you seeing? Right there, Chris. Right in the side of the bore. Oh no! Got one. Where are you left? Look at the coats. Got a quarter on the ground. On the ground. Uh, um, I'll get a... Every exhaust, exhaust hit. Okay. Yeah, you can tell that... The bearing's still fine. Bearing's fine. That's good Solar news. Fail. Piston fail. Piston fail. Piston failure. Yeah. Well, it wasn't connected. Okay. Okay. So this got sh destroyed from when the rod connecting rod broke. Yeah. broke. I think the it's camshaft's the destroyed too. Yeah, the camshaft's good. I should mention there was no signs of detonation or a tune issue. It appears to be a random part failure. Good reading. Oh, the bearing is fine. Bearing's good. Well, good. That makes me happy. Built it right. So, Scotty, we have assessed the damage 
what are you going to need to replace it based on what we've seen so far? Okay, so um, start at the top. I got to change all of my valves. Titanium valves. Titanium valves, intake and exhaust titanium. I don't have to change valve springs, so I just change those. Yep. Rock arms, I'll go through. I'll probably change some stuff for that. Uh, the studs for the rock arms, got to change all those. Um, got to obviously get the heads checked out, valve job, all that kind of stuff, and yep. the cylinder heads. And a couple little things in the combustion chamber fixed. I'm really grateful. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, that is not uh, nearly as bad as no, it could have been. It could have been way worse. I'm really grateful it wasn't that bad. So that can be fixed. That's awesome. As far as the block, uh, I need a new Titan pump. This one is kind of buggered. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I need two two new connecting rods, number seven and number eight connecting rods. I need two brand new pistons, uh, number seven and number eight. Um, I gotta get the block sleeved. For two off, cylinders on those. For two cylinders. Um, more than likely, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the crank. And I have to go get it magged, get it checked, then get the block sleeved. And probably what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna bore the block out by like two or three thou, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna order all brand new eight brand new pistons and rebalance the whole thing with two brand new rods. Right. So that's probably what I'm gonna do because pistons are coated, so the coating only lasts so long. Right. So right. I have to change slugs in it anyways, so I'm gonna do that. Right. And unfortunately your camshaft, it's done. The camshaft irks me. Yeah. I just got it. So and that's the done. <laughs> the lifters that the you lifters, just had. <laughs> I just had the lifters all checked out. They were beautiful. Crankshaft is okay though. From what yeah, the crankshaft seems fine. I'm obviously going to get it magged, but it's a it's actually Cali's Magnum crank, so they're pretty good. And we took off the bearings tonight, and it's not even damaged. Like the throw's not even damaged. It's beautiful. Just oily. Yeah. There's no scarring. There's no nothing. Just a little bit on the throw, which yeah. we can massage that. But so hopefully it's it's okay. But it looks like it should be fine, which is fantastic. For sure. <laughs> so, so well, I mean, are you less upset, or um, I don't know. You know. <laughs> honestly, I'm just really grateful. Actually, I'm really grateful for two things. One. Uh, oil sprayed underneath my tires going down when I'm slowing down. I'm really grateful the car didn't crash. That's why. So someone upstairs looking out for me. Two, this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought the block would have been toast. Right. You had to vibrate the block. And then on top of that, you got to do all the machining. So you're looking at eight to nine thousand dollars just for the block. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just sleeve it and do a couple of things. And yeah, so it's still going to be up there. Like, yeah. I estimating I'm gonna give myself a budget. I'm gonna say ten grand. Right. Roughly about that. That's the thing with these custom ones that they're nothing's yeah. just easily replaceable. No. Um it's so, kinda the way so Yeah, so but I will fix it and obviously not gonna be out the rest of the year, but yeah the, it'll be out next year. Yeah. Well that's good. Well I'm glad you're staying positive. I'm telling you guys Scotty's the most positive person I know. He's uh Great guy, so show your support to him and thanks for letting us be part of your misery. <laughs> Sorry, man, but. It's all good. It's anyways. All good. Thank you for helping me tonight. I really Thank you. It. Yeah, no worries, man. Really all right, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Unfortunately, Scotty discovered the crankshaft is cracked, which is a mega bummer. So be sure to go over to his channel and show some support and follow his repairs.